Hey, what's up plant-based runner, Coach Kyle here. And today you're gonna learn about a few kitchen products that I never thought I would love so much and why I think you should consider getting them as well. I hope that by the end of this video, I have earned a like and your subscription. If you don't know, I'm Coach Kyle and I help plant-based runners all over the world improve their running and their lives through implementing sustainable training habits, easy to do strength work, dialing in that nutrition and working on anything else that needs alignment by making it all come together with great accountability and motivation without being asked where you get your protein from. If this sounds like your jam and you want to learn more about my coaching, check out the links below, including my free three-part video series with some quick and actionable tips to help up your plant-based running game. As I go through these, I'd love it if you leave a comment letting me know what some of your unexpectedly favorite kitchen equipment has turned out or maybe ones that you thought you would love and you didn't really care for that much. I'll start with the one I probably use the least and I'll end with the one I think I use the most. And that means first off we have the most expensive item which yes I use the least but it was gifted so it's okay and it's our instant pot. We had this for a while before I really started to actually like it and it, you know it took it took some effort and it was kind of intimidating honestly, but now that I've really gotten into the, into the flow, into the routine of using it, big fan. We purchase a lot of products in bulk, and that includes dried beans and chickpeas. And what's really handy about the Instant Pot is it'll cook these from totally dry to ready to go in under an hour. So you don't have to soak them overnight, uh, you don't have to boil them all day. But if you do soak them overnight, then they take like 10 minutes and they're ready to go. Aside from beans, rice, and quinoa can cook pretty well in there as well. Baked potatoes are super easy to make. I think my favorite thing to make is homemade seitan. And I used to bake it in the oven, but I've started making a more moist and quicker version in the Instant Pot and it's the way to go. The Instant Pot is pretty cool because you can actually cook just about anything in there. And you can save a pan by sauteing in the Instant Pot and then you can go straight into pressure cooking. You can even use it as a slow cooker if you want to get started in the morning with a frozen slow cooker meal that you food prepped on Saturday. You just stick it in there, pour some tomato juice or sauce in there, whatever, and it, you can slow cook it all day and you get home and it's ready to go. The next item I wanted to include is one I really was hesitant to buy for a long time because I'm not a fan of kitchen items that seemingly only have one job. For example, the garlic press. Contrary to what I thought when I was a kid, it's not a Play-Doh spaghetti maker, it's for pressing garlic. But I swear to God they're the same spaghetti maker I had as a kid is actually a dollar store garlic press. But seriously, is there any other use for that garlic press? I'm not sure. If there is, let me know in the comments below. But the item that I didn't purchase for a long time, we have a garlic press, is a potato masher. And man, I was missing out. Ironically enough, I don't actually use it that often to mash potatoes. It should be called a tofu masher because <laughs> it mashes tofu like a boss. Seriously, gone are the days of using a fork. If you're like me and you enjoy some good breakfast tofu scrambles, then you're not going to want to miss getting a tofu masher, we're going to call it from now on. I'm a big fan of food prepping overnight oats and my recipe for that also includes uh, tofu masher mashed bananas. And you know, come to think of it, I, I pretty much never mash potatoes with my potato masher. Okay, so the final item on my list, the one I use the most frequently out of all of them is definitely another great gift actually, and it's an electric kettle. So we've always had a metal stovetop one, but again, we were gifted this and I ne we never would have bought it without it being gifted to us. And man, I use it so often. There are three main ways I find myself using the electric kettle. With Desi being pregnant, we've gone to exclusively decaf coffee in, in the coffee machine, but I do like to make a French press before my hard or long runs of the week, and I use the electric kettle to boil the water. And you can learn more about my pre-run habits and prep at that video up there. So this kettle also helps out the Instant Pot. And here's a pro tip. You can kind of speed up cooking with the Instant Pot by quickly boiling the water in the electric kettle. So that means the Instant Pot itself doesn't need to heat up the water by itself. You already pour in boiling water. You can also use the kettle if you're cooking macaroni on the stovetop. Boil the water in the kettle 
It just saves you a couple minutes. And honestly, we use this to heat up the tea water way more than taking the mug and putting it in the microwave. And I'm a big fan of Dandy Blend, chicory root and dandelion tea. If you want a really strong, dark flavored coffee alternative, check out this dandelion tea. I'll link it in the description of the video below. Okay, and I can't believe I forgot this one, but this is kind of maybe a little bonus. I was gifted this as well. I don't buy enough stuff for, my, for the kitchen. It's a juicer and it fits right on top of a mason jar, just like this. And last night I, I made um, uh, some, a vegetable uh, rice stir fry and I used orange juice pressed out of two oranges, some hoisin, some Bragg's amino acid, some rice vinegar for the sauce, some agave, and that's a really tasty, nice sauce to make, you know, kind of homemade sauce rather than uh, just some rando sugar, high sugar sauce out of the bottle. Super cheap, super easy, doesn't take up a lot of space, and it's nice to, to have this around to make some of those orange glaze type sauces but it's kind of also nice if you you know really want to get fancy, make some homemade lemonade, some homemade orange juice with something like this as well. So quick bonus tangent, a little item right here. So cool, there's my list. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree with any of the items. I love some good discussion. And as always, plant-based runners unite.